It's a place all of us rely on, but few ever see. New tonight, it's in the spotlight. Adam Dexter takes us on the one of a kind tour for an important cause. For the soldiers of the U.S. Army Reserve, this isn't necessarily a typical assignment. But this visit. This is definitely critical infrastructure. Could be crucial. These people work 24 7, 20 below zero, 90 degrees. They're in confined spaces. They're dealing with chemicals. And it's those chemicals and this process at the Seneca Wastewater Treatment Plant in Egan that serves a quarter million Minnesotans in the South Metro each day. These soldiers. You don't have water situation taken care of. It creates disease. It creates a population that is upset with the current situation. Using today to learn how the process works. We have biological phosphorus removal. And also how they'd respond in a crisis or if a site like this ever became a target. We need to be subject matter to build a network so we can have reach back capabilities back here to the U.S. Um, to phone a friend if we need to. Their teacher, Dave Gardner, has worked here for years. He says his hope, a crisis plan never has to go into action. But with the process this important. Every day we're doing the best we can to make sure that what we got going into the river is better than the actual river itself. Having a plan is important too. If we took the wastewater coming into our plant and bypassed this plant and went directly to the river, you're going to lose your aquatic life. You're going to have like high ammonia, phosphorus. It's bad news. In Egan, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Reserve soldiers on today's tour came from all over the country. Despite being the fourth largest plant in Minnesota, the Seneca plant takes in 34 million gallons each day.